Star Wars is not just about fandom, it's about family. And then I had another two CAT scans and they said, look, unfortunately we've discovered you have some sort of growth or tumour in your brain. I wanted to do something big because I was scared of dying young and missing out on a life with my kids. The plan was to fly from Brisbane, Australia to California in the United States and speak to as many people involved in making the Star Wars universe a reality and those who loved it like I do. Well, I'm quite nervous. I'm not a good flyer. The amazing thing about Star Wars and the visitors, we get like three generations and to see that love and that passion for Star Wars shared among multiple generations is, is really heartening to me. The whole crew went off to watch Star Wars and it was just mind-boggling. It was just overwhelming. I've been a big fan since I was a little boy and now I pass it on to my little son. There's so much that you can be a part of and everybody loves each other. I mean, I was a bad guy. Everyone loves my character. I was always amazed by how talented all these other folks were. It's, it's really a humbling experience to come out and sit and have people appreciate something that you did 30 years ago, you know. It was a universe I felt safe in. Gabe's journey started when he was about six months old. He was diagnosed with a tuberous sclerosis complex which is a disease that causes tumors to grow in the body. Maybe that's why this means so much for you. It does. It really does. I want to tell them they're not alone. There's a world of people who've been through it and have come out the other end and survived it. Do you think that's, a, is that a good message? Now, what is, what is your expectation for tomorrow? To be taken back to my childhood. It's gonna happen. Why do you think people connect with the Star Wars story? Do they? Why in the world would they do that? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>